Morning to you, Dermot. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. We begin with American football, and two great running backs made their 1990 entrance yesterday with differing results, as Mick Luckhurst now tells us. Jackson may spend seven months a year playing baseball, but one thing Bo really knows is touchdowns. He grabbed a pair of them in an easy way to win over San Diego. No training camp, one week's practice, and once again, baseball's loss is football's gain. Eric Dickerson's six-week contact dispute with the Colts is over, and he's celebrated by passing O.J. Simpson on the all-time rushing list. But John Elway spoiled the party. Two touchdowns, this one a 52-yardie to Ricky Nittell, helped the Broncos snap a three-game losing streak. Pittsburgh, the team of the 70s, met the team of the 80s, with the unbeaten 49ers coming out on top. Joe Montana dissects the Steelers' secondary, and Mike Sherrard does the rest. Then a freak play. Rookie Barry Foster forgets to cover the kickoff, and the 49ers recover the ball. Tom Rathman eventually took it in. But when you're as good as San Francisco, it's the welcome, but hardly necessary. Matt Barr's 40-yard field goal as time expired capped an amazing bit of escapology by the Giants. Bill Purcell's rushed off to thank the powers that be, and the Cardinals almost end the Giants' unbeaten run. Jim Kelly was another pulling the Houdini trick. Jamie Muller makes the end zone grab with just 19 seconds left to take Buffalo past the unlucky Jets, and it's a first place tie with Miami. Troy Aikman was another last minute hero. With only 23 seconds left, Aikman hits Michael Irving for the game winner as the Bucks fail to close the gap on the inactive Bears. The Chiefs also lost ground. Steve DeBerg's fumble ends another drive, while John L. Williams' late four-yard run and four Norm Johnson field goals maintain the Seahawks' interest in the AFC West. Gerald Riggs' four-yard run was more than enough to clip the Eagles' wings as the Redskins win a disappointing low-scoring encounter at RFK. Houston running back Lorenzo White scored twice to lead the galloping Oilers past New Orleans. They'll share the lead in the AFC Central if the Bengals slip up tonight. Atlanta's defensive woes continue. This catch by Henry Ellis makes him the leading receiver in Rams history, surpassing, you know it, Elroy, Crazy Legs, Hirsch. They don't name him like that anymore. Hello, after another big loss, Coach Clanville probably came up with some novel new ones for his faltering team. Okay, that wraps up another busy week in the NFL. I'll be here next Monday at this time, but until then, this is Mick. The Falcons are driving me crazy, Luckhurst, for the Channel 4 Daily in Atlanta.